Tyler Cantrell with BlazerTV.com reporting on a 52-3 UAB win here at homecoming against Southeast Louisiana. This game would get off to a fast start as UAB senior linebacker Marvin Burdett would intercept the pass on the first drive and return it for a touchdown for an early 7-0 UAB lead. After the game, Marvin Burdett talked about how that play and how this inspired performance from this defense probably started in the coin toss. I had in my mind today, you know, we was gonna go out here. This is my, my for, our, for most seniors, it's our last homecoming at UAB, and um, you know, I just I come out and uh, I wasn't too much thinking about it. Just something that happened. Um, we was headed to the toss, and uh, for the decide the who's gonna get the ball, the guy uh, number 51, um, he kept talking and he was just making these gestures. Uh, as far as they they if we if we won the toss, uh, we was gonna get the ball. But I assume they had they had won, and uh, he started talking trash about. Uh, yeah, we want the ball because they have no defense, and and we all know that I take pride in our D, and uh, it kind of got me stirred up to, for some team to to think that we don't our defense is not good to stop their offense. So, you know, I just brought it back onto the sideline and and just let them know we had to play sound ball and change that mindset for that team. I just stayed in the film and um, I just been concentrating so hard and and just been watching a lot of film and I knew where the ball was going. Um, it, it shocked me because I didn't think he was gonna flick it to him, but he did, and I ended up getting in the way of it. And, just coming around sideline and scoring, so it was exciting for me. Hey, he looked like a little running back out there. He was pretty fast. I forgot he was a linebacker in one moment. He was running pretty fast. I was trying to block for him, but he outran me, so, hey. Marvin looked, looked good. Well, he was patient. Um, you know, I think that Brett Farf has a lot of these quarterbacks thinking they can underhand flip the ball. Um, he got away with it for years. Um, what people don't realize is Brett Farf also led the world in interceptions also and touchdowns. Um, but I think he was patient, and he didn't abort his technique. He just sit there and trusted what he was coached. The quarterback made a mistake and, you know, got him the ball, and then he was able to finish the um, play running down the sideline. And that's another thing that you teach. When you get an interception, get the ball to the near sideline. And then everybody knows where the blocking's going to be, and he did it exactly the way it's coached. So just proud to see some of the things that we're coaching come to life. This was a big effort for this UAB defense, giving up only three points. In the 2011 season, UAB's fewest amount of points they gave up was 21 to Mississippi State. After the game, the defenders talked about the importance of holding a team to this few points in yards. We knew he was um, he could throw the ball. We seen the you know I watched film on, him, so we were just like uh, you know, coach told us you know we have to dominate. You know, it, um, that one double A team, we we have to get get after the ball. I mean, I mean get after the quarterback. That's what's gonna make the difference in the game, you know, how fast, you know, we get up, get to them. And we did. So we made a big difference. Um, our goal is they never make it past the 50. I think they made it past the 50 one time. The UAB offense was able to establish the ground game today as Darren Reeves, Greg Franklin, and Bashir Coles all got in on the action, scoring touchdowns, whether it be through the air or on the ground. Well, the game plan was just attack them fast. First quarter, um, Coach, before the game, um, we all huddled up as a team on the sideline and said we we're going to throw the first punch, and uh, we did what we said we was going to do. I mean, it felt real good. Uh, obviously, I gotta, we have to give a lot of uh, credit to the O-line because uh, without them, we wouldn't be able to move nothing at all. So they did a real good job today. So we we'll give the credit to the O-line. UAB starting quarterback Austin Brown had a very effective first half today for the Blazers. However, he did have an ankle injury late in the first half and missed most of the second half just as a precautionary measure. After the game, Garrick McGee and Austin Brown talked about not only Austin Brown's performance, but Jonathan Perry's as he stepped in for most of the second half. Um, I started out a little rough, but uh, luckily offensive line did great protection and receivers made some plays downfield. So we got to put some points on the board, but uh, all in all, wasn't very consistent today. Really got to improve on that. Yeah, I think so. I think it was our best day when it comes to um, executing and concentrating um, and doing the things that you're coached to do on a daily basis. Um, and I think that that's why the score ended up what it ended up. I thought he did a really good job. Like I've said from the beginning, we're really fortunate to have two quarterbacks that our program trusts to go out on the field. Um, that's a real benefit. Not many teams have that luxury. Um, we do. Um, you know, Austin hurt his ankle late there in the second half. 
we came in, we did an x-ray, the x-rays were negative, um, but it was bothering them. And then we tried to, you know, see if we can go that early in the second half, but it just, you know, wasn't worth it at that point when we had another quality player on the sideline. Just put a healthy body out there, and I think he did a pretty good job. Oh, we know JP, no question, knows what he's doing, knows how to handle the offense, knows how to make plays. So, uh, really, the offense doesn't skip a beat. He just stepped right in and did his job very well. UAB special teams would have another banner day today as kicker Ty Long hit a 53-yard field goal, which means he now holds the first and second longest field goals in Blazer history. One of the themes of the post-game press conference was what it meant to this UAB team to finally get that first win and get the burden of not having a win off their shoulders and to do it in this fashion. You'll see how the players and the coaching staff were relieved and excited to get the first win of the 2012 football season. Oh man, it was after that win, it was unbelievable. It was like that burden. You know, you, you're sitting here, you're 0-4, and you're like, when is, that going, when is it going to be that break? You know, and, and you constantly just, you're thinking on it, and, and it's on your mind, and and for you to get that win, that means that monkey's off your back. And, you know, you can sit here and you can say, now we can go on and just play our game. Now that you know how it feels to win. And uh, since and now that we got that in our mind and we know how it feels, you know, we just try to execute the things that we do and try to continue to win. No, we had a good feeling, you know, it was our first win. And, you know, they they probably have that mindset and they're thinking, you know, um, we, we can beat this team, you know. They, you know one double-A team has beat the um, D1 team before. So, hey, they probably had that mindset. Like, we can come in and beat them, you know. You know, I was nervous. I was thinking, you know, it would be real bad, if, you know, if we don't show up. So, I'm glad we did show up. That was a good feeling. I mean, it's nice to get our first win out of the way. Um, we're still excited for conference play, though. We got That's where it really counts. So, we uh, got a long way to go, and these next seven games are big ones for us. Uh, yes, uh, this really, we needed this win. Um, we, obviously, everybody knows we were zero, a zero and four before this. And um, this win, we... Uh, this win really gave us a little confidence booster. You know, our team has had, a, and our program has had a lot of rain. It's always good to have sunshine so that they can see the way that we go about our business, the way that I'm hard on them all the time. There is a reason for it. And if they continue to trust me and concentrate, then they can beat most of the teams that they play. Next week, UAB will try to keep the ball rolling with some of their newfound confidence as they travel to Houston to take on the Cougars in their second Conference USA game of the year. This will be very important as they try to move up the standings in conference in their quest for a Conference USA title. This is Tyler Cantrell reporting for BlazerTV.com.